Welcome back, OG Recent Aquariums. So the plug came through. And we got some new additions to the tank. I have no, some of this stuff's not labeled. Before we go, like, subscribe down below. And I'm not going to show you this one to the end. But let's see what's going in. I got to dip them and then uh, acclimate them. So they already been floating in the water. So, first, now they have small plugs too, though. Acclimate. You know, okay. Come on. Right, whatever. Oh, the Oakland School District Education is kicking in, right? They were floating in the water. They were floating in the water. They were floating in the water. They acclimate. Okay. So the first one is Old School Classic Red Planet Aqua. <coughs> gonna open them up as we talk and we're gonna drop them in uh -oh, one second. this container and we're gonna use revive as a dip. So here and first one going in. These are all from his system, so his water is the same. One. The next one is a PR VIN. Not really familiar with this, but it's like an ice blue type of macro. Not really highlight. This is a decent size right here. I'm just going to do those two together because I don't know if they touch, they freak out. Well, actually, let's add this. This is a wild piece of aqua he had. He says he's not sure what it is. He says he thinks it's expensive. I don't know. It's free. Let's check it out. I don't know if it's a milli, what it is, but I told him thank you. That'll be it right now. Revive the half a cup. Let that sit. Gonna mix it around. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this little, I guess blast it. Can't knock anything off of it. They tend to be pretty clean from this guy, but just in case. He just cut them about a week ago. So the plugs are pretty clean. And he actually glued them for me. But as I look. Okay. And we're going from there into fresh water. Those are in the wash. Now the next coral going in is the metallic orange orange hammer. I'm gonna use the same water, same dip solution. Open it up. Thank you. Now he sells them pretty good. Okay. This is another no name he gave me. It looks like a plate and coral. Not really sure what it is. We threw that in. 
This is all from my plug. I've been working with him a couple of years now. He comes up with a lot of unique stuff. And the next piece I show you is, is a killer. So I'm gonna put that in there. All right, this might be the Jason Fox beach bum, but I don't think so. Now for the coup de gras. Holy Grail Micro Musa. These go for about $200, $250 a head. If you're into ACAS Micro Musa, this is it. You can see it's very small, but I can grow this out. It's pay for a system upgrade. Extremely small. Take these, put them in the fresh water dip. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, letting this off camera, but this is wastewater as I look in here. Like all the way, the plug is clean. Let's get these in the tank, and I'll be right back. And here they are on the rack. And they're on the rack, so still not sure what this is, but it's real pretty. Not sure what this is either. <laughs> this is the van. Uh oh, one second. This is the VV Van Ran, I believe it's called. This is the Red Planet. Don't look very red now. This is the Orange Metallic Hammer. And this is the beauty right here. This is the Holy Grail. Uh, that's, the, well, that's the name of it. Holy Grail Micro Musa. Colors already coming in. Blue, so like one and a half head. That's about 500 bucks, 450 bucks right there. Alright, other than that, here's a look at the tank. Crystal clear. This guy's bounced back from nothing. Everything is open. Here's a look at the UV filter. And the tank is crystal clear. It's not a spot of algae anywhere. Even the glass is clearing up. Fish are looking healthy. Here's the gym tank. OG Reach to the Aquarium. Like, subscribe below. Get an update on the UV filter next couple of days. We'll check in on the uh To check in <laughs> check in on the flatworm experiment that I was running running flatworm stop for new frags and I was seeing great growth and uh, that's it like subscribe below oh you reach the aquariums I'm out